Following the development is the recapitulation. The recapitulation is a restatement of the opening material of the piece. However, it is not an exact repeat, but rather a rewritten repeat of ideas presented in the exposition. In traditional sonata expectations, the recapitulation is in the tonic key. Hindemith's Sonata for Flute and Piano follows through with this expectation, having the recapitulation in the key of B-flat minor, and the flute part is taken up an octave when compared to the original statement of theme 1. Additionally, the accompaniment is altered, especially beginning at measure 78. The first time that theme 1 is introduced, the piano begins the theme and the flute joins later, but here in the recapitulation, the flute begins without piano introduction. Also, sonata form expectation demands that the recapitulation remains in the tonic, and not modulate to the dominant key, and again Hindemith follows through with this expectation. After restating the second theme, he tentatively ends the section with the flute holding a B-flat and the piano accompaniment holding on a cluster chord. The closing, sec the closing material is not repeated at this time, but instead the piece moves on to the next section. The final section of the piece is the coda. The very first measure of the coda is only two beats as opposed to four, which causes a slight hiccup in the beat. This hiccup begins a nine bar piano introduction, after which the flute enters and plays material from the first theme. The last two measures of the piece end with the closing material that was used in the beginning of the exposition before the developmental section. On one hand, Hindemith Sonata follows the right layout because it has the correct form, but it does not follow the key areas that define a sonata, according to Francesco Galesi. In Bethia Churgan's article, Francesco Galesi's description, 1796 of sonata form, quote, theorists of the late 18th century emphasized the bipartite division and tonal plan as the basic features of a structure. It is the tonal plan, not the thematic sequence, that provides the primary level of organization, end quote. It has a first key, which contains a first theme, followed by a transition that modulates and is unstable, after which follows a second theme that is in the new key, which leads to closing material. Following the closing material, the piece moves into a developmental section, where themes from the exposition are altered. Finally, there is a recapitulation that contains material from the exposition, and the piece ends with a coda. This overall structure follows the traditional trajectory of sonata form. 
Just to recap, Hindemith Sonata for Flute and Piano fits Sonata expectations because it follows the overall structure of and contains many recognizable elements of a traditional sonata. Therefore, overall, Hindemith Sonata for Flute and Piano follows the correct formal layout for traditional sonata expectation, but does not follow traditional expectation as far as harmonic layout is concerned.